Hello and welcome to the video how to troubleshoot unable to submit for Apple error. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot two common scenarios where this issue occurs. The first one is related with the entry criteria and the second one is related with the initial submitter that we specify in the approval process. So let's get started. In Remedy Force, I create this approval process. If you notice, I have a basic criteria. Description should be equals to approval process. So the first scenario where this issue occurs is when the entry criteria is not met in the incident record. I'm going to show you this example. In this record, I have approval process, but if you notice, I have three S at the end. So if I go and submit this record for approval, the first scenario will be shown. Unable to submit for approval. In this particular case, you need to either modify the description field value in order to match the approval process criteria or modify the criteria from the approval process itself. In this case, I'm going to update the description field, save the changes, and now I'm going to submit it for approval again. Click OK. And now you can see the record has been submitted for approval successfully. The second scenario is related with the initial submitter that we configure in the approval process. In order to reproduce this scenario, I'm going to log in as one of my staff user members, as you can see here. If you notice, the description field value matched the approval process criteria. However, if I go and submit it for approval, I'm going to receive the same error. Unable to submit for approval. If I switch to my admin user, you will see here the initial submitters, it's me. So in order to fix this, I will need to edit the initial submitters and add my staff member so he can submit for approval. Select user, move to the right to allow submitters and save the changes. Now you will notice me and the user staff are allowed to submit records for approval when this criteria is met. I'm gonna switch back to my staff user again Click on submit for approval. And now the error is gone and the record was submitted for approval successfully. This concludes the video, how to troubleshoot unable to submit for approval error. Thank you for watching.